The Marathon Oil Leak and its impact on residents still a hot-button issue as members of the Senate met today. While the opposition blamed government for not releasing a report on the matter in a timely fashion, Janine Noel Ferguson tells us tonight that government senators were on the defense. Tempers flared in the upper chamber Thursday after FNM Chairman Senator Michael Pintard took the government to task for delaying a report on the oil leak from the Rubis service station in the Marathon constituency. Pintard charged that there are many in the constituency who may have been negatively impacted because of the leak. But not bother to tell them that the water they're drinking is poison. And you talk to them about any number of matters. And don't tell them that the water is potentially damaging to their life. On a point of order, the state minister for national security, Keith Bell, insisted that Pintard was misleading the public with those claims. Madam President, um, what, I, what is the point of order? What, what, what is the point of order? Kindly allow. You the president? No, but I would know what is the point of Can order. I make the point of because no. you were in the same you cabinet don't. and sat down in silence not, and didn't tell the public. Menace. So you're no. not going to bully me in here when you remain silent when you should have told the public that their life was at risk. No. The public is in possession of information, reports that clearly indicate you that know. the moment that the government and Rubis discovered that oil was leaked from the gas station that all the persons were immediately connected to city water, Madam President, and all the wells in the area was condemned. Leader of the opposition business in the Senate, Senator Carl Bethel, soon intervened, stating that this was incorrect. And I say it is an untrue statement and to say that everybody's house was hooked up to water, uh, to government water. Madam President, the only thing that could be more disgusting than that is to then bring people in who don't live in the area to shout those folks down when they complain about having been left in dire circumstances. Nothing could be more disgusting and unforgivable than that. As the argument ensued, Senate President Sharon Wilson directed the senators to stay on topic during the course of the debate. We to debate the law reform. We're not here just to speak whatever's on our mind. But we do have an agenda, which I'm going to ask honorable senators to respect and honor. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.